Today I'm taking y'all again at Arin Sail. I did a couple of hours, just a few runs, enjoying the new snow and checking out the snow conditions for y'all. The parking at the Patagonia Hotel was full, so was the top parking. Um, loads of coaches from Spain are here. I think that was why I saw so many absolute beginners at the bottom where the beginner slopes are. I think that's great that people are interested in skiing and adding sail beginner slopes that's so perfect for them. Adding sail ski station is a very small contained ski area with two good and gentle slopes for beginners to practice. Then from the top of adding sail, when they're ready, there's one blue run, two red runs, one black run, and one black gully. There's another steep run um, called La Gapa, which is not open at the moment. It was um, open for a few days, then the 120 kilometers per hour wind blew all the snow away. Now La Gapa stands naked waiting for a real good heavy dump of snow to cover it. How was the snow conditions today? Well, excellent I would say, with an occasionally minor icy patches where the snow has been blown off. But overall, um, the snow conditions on the slopes were very good even down the Maradas one. Plus, they are still making snow on this run. I enjoyed my skiing today very much. Thank you. Though, having said that the snow conditions were excellent, I must comment that it was very difficult to get into the two black runs and it was icy, like a sheet of ice for about um, 11 yards. Then after that, smooth skiing on a very nice snow. So if y'all could handle a sheet of ice for a few seconds, then it's home free after that. What happened was the wind blew the snow off the top of the slope, burying the ice underneath. But once I was about 11 yards down, then it was smooth and enjoyable sailing from that point onwards. How cold was it this morning? Cold and very windy still at the top. But it got warmer once I was out of the wind at the bottom with the temperature at um, 3 degrees Celsius. The slopes were in and out of the clouds, meaning sunny, then cloudy, then sunny again, back and forth. Also, it was snowing on and off. Now, y'all know that I'm not a weather girl with all the weather terminology and all, so y'all bear with me when I talk about the weather. I'm just telling it as it was. Another good thing about Arinsel is it's easier to video in Arinsel Ski Resorts. Even though it was cold, but because the runs are shorter than the runs at Gran Valera, so it was bearable, plus there are less skiers to run into or them into me. I'm not saying that accidents don't happen, but less chance of them happening when there are less people, if y'all know what I mean. I did check the weather at Gran Valera while doing the editing of this video and it's snowing and it seems like it has been all day with low visibility. Just thought y'all would be interested to know as it's a very good piece of news. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow and for days to come. Okay dokie. That's all for me on this report. Y'all enjoy the rest of the video. I leave the background music off so y'all could hear the sound of the skis carving on this nice snow. Don't hesitate to drop me a comment or two if y'all have anything to add as I know some of my viewers are here skiing in Andorra. 
happy skiing y'all if y'all like the video give it a like and subscribe i thank you for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video by the way i love skiing from the top of Alien sail down to whichever run that was good on top then ski straight down to the Maradas run all the way down to the bottom of Alien sail where the joseph Serra chairlift is it's a good six kilometers run at one go like y'all can see in this clip right now Alien sail is small but this is the run that y'all could do to make up for the lack of kilometers like in Gran Valera but only do it if the snow is good on Marada's run okay there's a map of this run at the end of the video so do check it out alrighty then happy skiing